Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today's video is going to be on the Sand Viper, Saharan Sand Viper. Now, these are a pair that I had for less than a week. There was problems with them. They died. It's not the same ones as the Desert Horn Vipers, the ones that I've been posting a lot of. These are Saharan Sand Vipers. I only have three minutes of footage total of them. So, what I'm going to do is do an informational video going over some things about them. It's not going to be as in-depth as the other ones since I have so little footage, but we'll go over as much as we can. So let's get to it. I'll do voiceover and go over information about them. Such an awesome species. Let's get started. And subscribe if you're new. Love y'all. Starting with taxonomy. Now their common name, Sahara Sand Viper. Many common names, such as Common Sand Viper. Lots of common names, but their scientific name, Cerastus Vipera. And the Desert Horn Vipers that I've been posting a lot of are Cerastus Cerastus. Now you're going to see my favorite behavior of any snake. What it's doing right here, burrowing in the sand. And you see the different colored tail. What they do is they'll sit and wait for prey to pass by. And they lay there with just their eyes above the sand and their tail out. And when prey is close by, they'll wiggle that tail. Caudal luring to attract prey. It's such an amazing adaptation. Just so cool. And going off this black tip tail, there's sexual dimorphism in this species. Meaning males and females have visible difference. Females have full black tail. Males, very small portion is black. And going off of the caudal luring, we'll just talk about the prey they eat. Now, they'll eat lizards and females. They get larger than males. They'll sometimes eat other prey, such as small rodents. But again, they wiggle that tail to attract prey. Such a cool, cool technique used by many species of snake. Now, this is a small species of viper, and females get larger than males, and they have strongly keeled scales, the rough to the touch, ridged scales. And similar to the saw scale viper, when they feel threatened, they'll rub their scales together, making that little raspy sound. Awesome. As you can see, the eyes located on the top of the head. That's due to their burrowing nature. They keep their eyes above the sand. Similar to, think about anacondas having their eyes above water. And their eyes are positioned on the top of their head too. And they move by sidewinding. So when they're on the top of the sand, they'll sidewind along the sand. Now their geographic range is in northern Africa. In the deserts in northern Africa. Now one of the coolest facts about these are unlike other species in the Cerastus genus that lay eggs, such as the desert horn vipers, these give live birth, but also lay eggs that hatch within a couple of hours instead of a couple of weeks like the other Cerastus. So amazing. Now, how they stay hydrated in the deserts is through the prey they eat. So that's how they stay hydrated, eating the prey. And their venom is hematoxic. And here you can see the hole in the back. This is something I didn't notice when I got the snakes and had them quarantined and they were just not in good shape and passed away within a week. And it's just an example of being sure to look over the animals you get. Take a good look. So in my excitement of seeing them at the Reptile Expo, didn't take good look and ended up with sick and dying animals. But anyways, hope you all enjoyed this video. Now, I have an educational playlist where I do informational videos like this, but usually I'm talking about snakes that I have, so I have the snake out while I'm talking about it. A little bit more in-depth and broken in parts much better. But I want to make use of these footage, so let me know, give me feedback, leave video suggestions, and subscribe.